uh, I think everybody knows that uh, uh, Trump was indicted yesterday uh, for over the, the documents issue. Uh, I find it fascinating uh, how people are responding to this. Clearly, Trump did something illegal and wrong. Um, clearly, he took classified information and tried to hide it from the FBI. And when asked to, um, to return it, he refused, uh, not by declassifying it and not by claiming he declassified, but by re denying and rejecting that he had it, by hiding it, by, you know, the, and, and uh, uh, there's now audio evidence that he knew he had classified information that he was not supposed to have. Um, he, um, uh, he, um, uh, he also, uh, uh, you know, ran, uh, ran exercises on how to evade the FBI when they came to search. Uh, clearly, clearly, uh, what he did is wrong. Maybe other people have done worse, that's fine, but what he did was illegal and wrong. Uh, and the real, uh, you know, the real, um, and, and the real, uh, what do you call it, tra uh, tragedy and the real crisis would have been if he had not been indicted. If he had not been indicted, the message to the American people and the message to everybody is some people above the law. If you're a former president, we don't go after you. Now, maybe uh, Hillary should have been indicted as well. Okay. Uh, it's interesting that Trump was there. Trump was uh, lock her up and everything. And uh, even Trump didn't indict Hillary. And, and I wonder why. I wonder why the Justice Department didn't. Maybe because they didn't have a case. Uh, suddenly, Trump was motivated to go after Hillary. Uh, but... Here there's a case. It's a clear-cut case. It's not a hard case. It's, it's, the evidence is pretty public. Just the public evidence is pretty clear uh, that, uh, that this should be indicted. And it, whether Hillary should also be indicted is irrelevant. Maybe next time we can indict Hillary as well. But Trump should be indicted, just like uh, any criminal, anybody who does things that are against the law. Um, and I, I'm critical of the whole... Um, uh, use of classified information and what counts and what doesn't count and, and all of that. But, but, and I think the biggest issue for Trump is, um, is that he tried to evade, um, he tried to evade, he tried to hide, he tried to, uh, he tried to get around. Um, you know, uh, uh, actually, uh, uh, actually following the law. So, uh, in, in, uh, the special counsel here is not particularly left. The special counsel here is a uh, is a pretty respected uh, respected lawyer, respected both on the left and on the right. Um, he's not particularly partisan. Nobody has accused him uh, when he was appointed. Nobody accused him of being particularly partisan. A lot of people thought that this was a good appointment because he was pretty uh, pretty neutral. Um, no, I mean this is this is uh, this, Trump is is a bad guy. Trump has done bad things. Trump has done illegal things, and Trump should be indicted. Uh, he will go in front of a, a court. Uh, he will uh, present evidence. There will be a trial, just like anybody else who's indicted will have his day in court, and uh, he will either be found guilty or innocent. He'll have an opportunity to appeal. He'll go through the same legal process as everybody else has, and if he's innocent, it's likely in our system of government that he will be found innocent. It appears that the judge overseeing the case now, right now, is a, a, a Trump appointee who is very favorable towards Trump. So there is a there is a good chance that uh, uh, that he will get favorable treatment from now on. But you know he should be treated like anybody else. And if there are injustices in terms of the fact that Hillary was not prosecuted or this person was not prosecuted, then fix it. You know uh, again, Trump had the Justice Department under his administration with his appointees for four years, for four years. So either you could argue he is absolutely unequivocally incompetent, which is true, or maybe something else is going on here. But people, I mean, what is really interesting about all this, ultimately, is nobody cares about the truth. Just nobody cares about the truth. And for, for everybody to come out and say, oh, this is the Justice Department using politics um, and not caring about the fact that we all know Trump did it. Everybody knows Trump did it. And instead of saying, yeah, Trump did it. This is awful. Uh, he shouldn't have done it. 
Um, and uh, yeah, by the way, there were other indictments uh, of politicians that we should be pursuing, like Hillary. But Trump did it. Even his opponents in the, in the primary are so afraid, so terrified of the so-called Trump base. And this is what's really pathetic. They're so terrified. They're so afraid. That not one of them will criticize Trump. Not one of them will say he's guilty. Uh, one, one did. Hutchinson, uh, the former governor, I think, of Arkansas, is the only one who will see what Chris Christie does. But all of them are just cowards, little baby cowards. That, that, and this is why one of the many reasons they won't win, um, because they're afraid to challenge Trump. They're afraid to challenge Trump base. The, 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 you know, all, it, it's just, I mean, I think really... Uh, to categorize DeSantis and Scott and all of them, the appropriate word is pathetic. Just absolutely unequivocal pathetic. Um, anyway, so um, it, it, it's sad to see so many, you know, serious people, like the people running for president, um, you know, be, be so... Uh, so afraid of actually uh, following the truth, standing up to Trump, actually pursuing evidence, actually talking about what actually happened. Um, it, it really is, uh, it really is sad. Um, and, and, and none of them deserve, as a consequence, none of them deserve to be the Republican candidate. If you can't criticize Trump, you do not deserve to be the nominee. All right. Um, What did I want to say? There's a big difference between what Biden did and what Trump did and what Pence did and what Trump did. And that is, yes, they all had, they all had these uh, documents. The differences, the fundamental differences is that Trump engaged in hiding the fact that he had the documents. He engaged actively in an attempt to deceive the FBI and to deceive the Justice Department in terms of access to those documents. He, he engaged actively in moving them around and preventing people. So the main accusation of, 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 uh, of Trump is not on the fact that he had the documents. Everybody makes mistakes and, and takes too many documents with him. I think that, that, that is true of probably every politician who's dealt with top secret. It is, to what extent do you go in order to hide them? To what extent do you go in order to deceive those who would, who would, who would take those documents? Uh, so... Um, that is that is the main problem uh, with uh, with Trump. It is not uh, it is not the, his possession of the documents. It's his attempts to deceive about the documents, it, which was stupid to begin with, because he was going to get caught. But but that's par for the course for Trump. I mean, he's not that smart. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.